At long last, my plan is complete. I'm going to kill Matt! That's it? That That's your whole plan? You've been working on this for like a month and the best you could come up with was just kill him? Didn't I kill you? Didn't I kill Matt? Whatever, that bastard's gonna pay for not making me a recurring character. Oh man. I tell you, the fancy Pepsis I had last year were way better. I mean, I guess I don't know what I expect out of a drink that has zero calories. This is basically flavored water. <laughs> oh no! It's my arch nemesis! Negamat! Wait, what? Yes, hello, it is me. Negamat. Who the hell is Negamat? Um, my arch nemesis? We've never even seen him before! I'm sorry, who are you? Evil Matt? Um, I think I'm evil enough on my own, thanks. I was in the Godzilla episode last year. Not ringing a bell. I wanted a story arc, and you just said no! Sorry man, I just don't do story arcs that much. It just gets confusing for the audience trying to keep track of it. All anyone's here for anyway is the review. Hey Matt, you want to do a storyline next month? Oh, absolutely. I mean... No! Now I'm gonna shoot. Negamat, you saved me. Yes, it is time for this petty squabble between us to end. From now on, you and I shall be allies. I agree. What a crazy ride you and I have been through. Let's watch Robocop Alpha Commando to celebrate! Yeah! There were some movies. Terrible movies. Movies so awful. No one would touch. Then came a Matthew. Sad little Matthew. Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad. Matthew gonna drag himself through the crap to find the worst ones there are to be had. Today's episode Robocop Alpha Commando. Hello downtown Detroit, I'm called Matt, and in this final episode of the Month of Animation, I'm talking about the other Robocop animated series. Like, come on guys, give me like two weeks, Christ. You may remember Robocop Alpha Commando from the Robocop Christmas special I reviewed back in November. You may also remember it being in damn near 144p. Well, this February, someone uploaded the whole series in its original 480p quality. Could've used this a few months ago, RexRude99. Look at all the stuff I was missing in the opening. Robocop's Buzz Lightyear wings, his Tron motorcycle, his roller skates, and best of all, him hilariously tripping Ed 209. I don't know why, I just love seeing the Ed 209 fail hilariously. It's so pathetic. And it's funny I should mention Buzz Lightyear, because this show actually reminds me a lot of that Buzz Lightyear cartoon in that it only features the main character from the movie and a bunch of new future characters that feel like they belong somewhere else. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised at all if this was just pitched as a future cop show and someone said, Hey, we own the rights to RoboCop. Make it RoboCop. Also, the first three episodes are a three-part series that I guarantee would have been dumped straight to home video if the show hadn't been picked up. Kinda like Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Like I said in November, the show ran 40 episodes in 98 and 99, although based on what I could find out, it ran on 4Kids TV, not Kids WB like I said. Then again, it's entirely possible it ran on both, either in different times or in different parts of the country, since it was made for syndication. Listen, not only have I read the entire Wikipedia article on syndication, I'm a radio TV major. We went over what syndication means in class, and I still kinda don't understand syndication. 
The episode we'll look at today, Justice Reborn, comes to us from director Larry Houston. Known for his work on the X-Men cartoons, the other Robocop animated series helped get off the ground. The series follows Robocop, played by David Sobolov and his new partner Nancy. That's cute, she's named after the actress who played Anne. <laughs> Where's Anne? It also has Blue Man Kuma as Sergeant Reed, who about five years earlier played Sergeant Stanley on the live-action RoboCop TV show. Neat. So, we saw how animated RoboCop did in the 80s, let's see how it does in the 90s. Uh, if you want to set up a dark future, maybe don't start on the White House in the year Trump leaves. The episode opens on traffic, and Nancy getting angry at other drivers. Um, isn't this exactly how the Christmas episode started? She has a TV in her car playing the news, which seems extremely dangerous. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Nancy is in charge of protecting a foreign head of state, and ends up destroying a killer robot from Botco. She gets sent to a peace summit in New Detroit, where she'll be paired with a trusted policeman. It's here we learn the villain organization is called DARK. God fucking damn it! I thought we left the obvious acronyms in the 80s. Of course, the policeman she's paired up with is... Newmeyer, the scientist. Okay, not really. Obviously her new partner is Robocop. Although, Newmeyer claims to have built Robocop, which is a massive retcon from the movie. I'm pretty sure this isn't even in the same universe as the movie. Murphy, I told you, you gotta lay off the cigarettes while you're in cryo sleep. Hello, Dr. Newmeyer. Who's the babe? Did Robocop just call someone babe? This show does not understand Robocop at all. For some reason, the mayor sends a bunch of military people to stop Robocop, and he's basically immediately out of commission. Who are you? I'm a federal agent with orders to be here. Nancy, did you just answer your own question? What is this, Sonic Boom? Luckily, a little percussive maintenance puts Robocop back online. The future. But he's missing his gun and has to resort to non-lethal methods. Why is the old arm moving? I guess I miss it. I was kind of attached to it. Boo! Oh well, at least he's got his gun. Then Robocop does his best Batman the Animated Series impression. Activating memory file 69. Nice! Is his son wearing an Internet Explorer t-shirt? Nancy doesn't want to work with robots, but then she apologizes to Murphy and says her partner got killed by a robot. Woof! That's enough character development for one episode. I tell you, that was tough to write. There's a scene where... someone hires some people to kill Robocop. It doesn't really seem to affect this episode, though. Sorry, I'd review more than one episode, but... I don't wanna. Then the new Detroit Police Commissioner explains that he has a list of do's and don'ts for visiting dignitaries. Toss me that manual. Oh! Thanks a lot. What was with the pause? Was I supposed to laugh? What's the joke? Robocop and not Anne break in and find that Botco, the company behind the robot assassin, is also the company who built the guide robots at the Peace Summit. And one of them full on misses the Prime Minister. It's a robot, how did he miss? Robocop never misses and it's implied that he's been in cryo sleep a couple years. You know, now that I think about it, this episode takes place in 2020. Robocop's been in cryosleep for at least a year, maybe two, which means he was probably built at least by now. Uh, this show's younger than I am. You sure you guys didn't want to set this maybe a little further into the future? Or, you know, just don't have a date attached to it at all? You know, like the original movie deliberately did? A bomb attaches itself to the minister's car and Robocop pulls it off. But to save his new partner, he jumps on the bomb. Murphy! 
And then Robocop died and wasn't in the rest of the series. Or not. I'm not gonna watch another episode to find out. Back in November, I compared this to the type of stuff I'd watch on 4Kids and Kids WB, but watching more, it's pretty clear why this only lasted one season against, say, the 2003 Ninja Turtles, which lasted seven seasons. The jokes are really lame, the action is unimpressive, and it has almost nothing to do with Robocop. Granted, the target audience of this show wouldn't really know what is and isn't in Robocop, but I'd argue that's another knock against the show. I just really have no interest in seeing any more of this show. Well, that's all for this month of animation. Thank you all for joining me. And if you'll excuse me, Satan and I are planning a story arc. <laughs>